This is the setup on a Danford Orac CNC lathe to turn the cylinders for the Whittle V8 10.6cc 4 stroke glow plug ignition engine. The tool is already set, the CNC program is loaded into the machine. It just needs me to press a couple of buttons and uh, it will be underway. The spindle starts, uh, the cursor is flashing near the tool number one, wants me to press start, the program to run and away we go. The first operation is to turn down the spigot that fits into the crankcase. The material is EN16T and the tool tip is an 07 0202 GT. It's one of the grand or so called grand tips that's primarily used for aluminium. But I find that it cuts the steel pretty well. I will give it a dab of cutting oil just for the last finishing pass. That's a very fine finishing pass for the diameter. What it does next is it it turns the next step, which is the out, outside diameter of the flange that sits actually on the top of the crankcase. It's the part before the fin start. That also has a, a finishing pass, so I'll give it the same treatment. Just a dab of fluid. It's now going to cut the OD for the cylinder fins. This, this OD it's cutting now is to finish at 16.76 millimetres and we're starting off from 19 millimetres. It's just doing it in three easy cuts. There again I'll give it a, a touch of the fluid. I've slowed the feed down with the manual feed control to get a finer finish on the surface of that part. When this is complete, the tool will return to the datum. Spindle stops. I now have to manually change the tool. The next tool is the tool number two, as you would expect. And in this case, it's a two millimeter wide parting tool. To start the process again, I just need to press the start button, and away we go. Ten second delay now, which allows me time to apply some cutting oil. Top 
diameter that the cylinder head ends. This is reduced with three, three plunge cuts down to the diameter required. And the tool then comes back to the starting position and it gives a final pass towards the chuck to give it the finished diameter. Now that's complete, the tool should return, come back to the datum, X and Z are now at zero, 00. I need now to change the tool to fit the next tool required, which is the uh, 0.6mm tool to cut the fins. Back on datum for a delay. Now moving into the to the correct point to cut the fins. It's cutting two millimetres depth of fin. This is the last at that full depth. The next, uh, the next cut is cutting to one millimetre depth. Now wants another tool change. What it wants now is uh, the uh, boring tool. I've changed the uh, running centre to a 29/64 drill. Uh, the hole has been pre-drilled 3 millimetres diameter for the full depth required. We now need to drill the 29/64 hole to 25 millimetres deep. And bring the revs back a bit. Bring the revs back to 770.
just clear the drill. Give it some fluid. It's got to be 25 millimeters deep. This is what it is now, according to the uh, graduations on the barrel. Put the drill away. The next tool to be fitted is the boring tool. Tool number four. Check that that is full depth. Three passes. The spindler's running at 800 rpm, and the rate of feed is 50 millimeters per minute. There's not any special tip in that small boring bar because. The cylinder will need to be honed after it's bored. There'll be probably about two thou left to uh, to hone to the required diameter. The next tool needed is the parting tool, again. Again, I'll put the oil Oil around. Running at 8.30 rpm. Now running at 1100 rpm. Chatter there. This is the finished part.
check the diameter. Check to make sure it's parallel. Seven to go. Another seven to make. Thanks for watching.